Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Comic Craft, and right now I'm gonna sleep <laughs> just because it's nighttime and I want it to be daytime. But anyways, we got a couple little things to do this episode. It's gonna be a very chill episode. I know we had talked about me and Bank building the entrance to the mini game area, but he got caught up and behind on a project he was working on. So I thought we could work a little bit on the base, and then me and Bank will definitely be together next episode working on that mini game area. Those new cave sounds really drive me crazy. But yeah, so you can see by looking up, I got a lot of the vines in. And I'm kind of torn 50-50 on the vines. So I'm going to kind of groom them real quick before we go anywhere. See what you guys think about them and we'll decide. But first, let's get the overview of the vines. So if I come out here, this side right here is basically done. But I think it's a little too long. From here over is not done. So I've got to groom all these. And I'm liking pretty much this size right there. Like that's too long and that's too long. This is a good size. And I layered it. So you can see they're stuck to the front of it. And that may be what I don't like about it. Is like how it's stuck to the front. I may have probably should have put it all underneath that front layer. But... Now that I say that, I really want to do that. Maybe. I'll let you guys kind of give me some notice on what's going to happen. If you look up in the, I think it's the upper right-hand corner right now, there should be a poll. So, vote on the poll. Let me know. Real quick. Oh, dog snoring. Yeah, but real quick, let's go ahead and uh, trim some vines. So what I've been doing for this is the old string trick. Let's come down down the hole I've got to come all the way down here and then pillar all the way back up of course actually right here might be fine so let's go ahead and just kind of walk the plank a little bit so we can come here look up okay we'll go here and I've been chopping every little vine just because I keep running out of vines so I want to keep as many as I can as I do this process and I actually like that one being a little bit longer than the rest so we'll do that maybe this one goes up a little bit yeah let's leave it just like this okay so now with those in place pillar over here some more plank walking which one is it okay so it's got to be this one right yep oh I'm stuck on the vines there we go we'll put that one down that one down should be able to hit two with one stone here so that's going to go there That'll go there. And that goes there. There we go. So that one's all done. This is the worst part. So I've been breaking these things and then going back to the top to uh, look at the formation and all. I don't want to really do that right now. I want to kind of get a couple of these guys in place. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and do that one, and this one, and then I'm going to bring you guys right back. And we're back. So, I went ahead and just did all the vines. I went ahead and combed through them all. This still is a little big to me, so I might go through all that. And I've been thinking about the waterfall I want to do right here. I think I might still do the waterfall, so those might be gone. But all the vines are nice and combed, and I don't have any enderpearls on me. Yeah, we could take the damage. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what it looks like from down here, and I'm actually liking it. I've been on the fence with the vines the entire time. Not like the bats. I hate these stupid bats. Get out of here. What? I hit them. I can't stop now until I kill this guy, right? What? I'm being attacked by bats. Come on now. Alright, forget it. I'm done. I can't kill bats for some reason. And he mocked me.
All right, I've wasted a lot of time trying to kill a bat. <laughs> this little clip. I just That's the one thing I hate about this whole area is all the freaking bats. Ugh. Yeah, so, okay, we're done with vines. That's the next step. Now, the next project I want to work on is back in spawn. And there happens to be something that we built in the fireworks shop that needs to be reloaded. And there's a new little build in there. Well, I shouldn't say new. It's been there for a while that I kind of want to take advantage of. So I'm going to grab these supplies, my redstone box and my emergency box. And I will meet you guys in spawn and I'll tell you more about what we're going to be doing. You went deaf. Is that what you want? Yeah, lots of death. What's we'll a... Ah, you have thorns. Oh, yeah. Not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, I'm like, where is it going to come from this time? Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. How many times is that? Oh. <laughs> you named your sword Banky Nader? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the things I do for fireworks. I need to name my sword something stupid. Right now it's just sword. How many times have I died? Uh, ten. Twenty-two more times. Okay, guys, in true NVIDIA fashion, I recorded an entire scene just for it to record in the wrong aspect ratio. I don't know why it does this. I've set my aspect ratio over and over and over again. The only thing I can think of is because I have two different monitors that are two different sizes, and for some reason, my default monitor, which I have everything on gets unselected as the main monitor and it goes to my secondary monitor which it shouldn't ever do that but anyways so what I've got going on now is something cool so I want to give the players on the server the ability to access the fireworks you saw in the last clip bank just killed me over and over and over again well that was to get heads for the fireworks for the fountain which are not cheap like I literally put an entire stack of diamonds into the fireworks crafted for this fountain so beforehand what you would have to do is you'd have to come over here put a button on this cobblestone block push a button and it would then activate the fireworks what I want to do now is take advantage of a build that was already in spawn town oh and of course my AC starts be right back okay as i was saying we're gonna take advantage of a build that was already in town and we're gonna use freddy's well at least i believe this is freddy well it's either freddy or x's well we're gonna convert this well into a wishing well so with the new kami coins do i have yes so let's go ahead and get our inner chest out with our new kami coins which are basically the custom spawn eggs from last map but this map now, if you accept the texture pack whenever you join the server, we te- Yeah, thanks. I'm telling you guys, every single episode, that guy revs his truck up right next to my uh, window. I don't get it. I don't know why right there he does it. Maybe there's a girl in this building he really likes. Uh, who knows? But yeah, if you accept the texture pack, we only change the egg texture. So none of your other textures will be changed or messed with or anything. Just the spawn egg texture to the comic craft coin. Which I think is really cool. And do I hear it? I hear a skeleton. At least I thought I heard a skeleton. Let me slide my desk up a little bit. Ah, uh, much better. Bye, Bank. So, yes, we're going to turn this to a wishing well. And by doing that, you're going to be able to throw your coins in there and let the fireworks go off. So, to do so, we're going to come down here. Oh, there's the skeleton. Hey, dude. Calm yourself. Coin! 
coin. Yes, comic craft coin. So also new with the uh, coins this map is skeletons, spiders, zombies, creepers. All will have like a one percent chance of dropping a coin, and so this skelly obviously when I kill it dropped a coin. If I, yeah, there we go. Can't type. So excited. Cool. Awesome. So yeah, you can see how cool this is really gonna be. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna build the item sorter for here and then I'm gonna show you guys the little redstone magic that's gonna allow it to activate the fireworks. Okay, so the item sorter is in, but something weird's happening. It doesn't seem to be working properly. I keep getting one item stuck in this hopper down here and I don't know why. I removed the blocks underneath it to see what was going on. Maybe I need to go ahead and break that one. I don't know. It It's weird. It doesn't seem to work. And I hear more skeletons. Guys, if you're in spawn and you see some caves, please light them up. Because I think that's been part of our lag issue in spawn town. Is that no one's really lighting up caves. And it's becoming an issue. But let me show you the sorter problem I have. And I had a bunch of coins up. Oh, that wasn't supposed to go in there. What happened to all the coins I had? Oh, there they are. Now they're all stuck right there? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the stuff that doesn't make much sense. So, I got a bunch of coins to test this. I put all my coins in the four hoppers. That'll be at the bottom of the well. The hoppers should empty down into this chain of hoppers. Get pulled out here. Go through the sorter. And then all 24 should end up in there. But I only ever get 23. One stays here. Which is not a big deal. But it's frustrating to know that this is the like best sorting design out there and it's broke. Something happened in an update and now this doesn't work. Or maybe the server is having such bad issues that we can't figure this out. But... So you're going to put your coins in. They're going to land in there. They'll go through this filter. Anything that's not a coin will land up in this hopper. And then I'm going to have a dropper elevator like right here to send the coin or to send the item back up and spit it through the ground. So if anyone accidentally drops something in the wishing well, it'll automatically come back to you. So no worries. Just stand there and wait. Now for the magic of the fireworks, what we're going to need is a observer looking into this repeater and then I'm gonna do two repeaters here this is probably overkill but I want a little bit in case someone throws multiple items in here really really fast I don't want it to just constantly click 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 and go off a bunch this will kinda of add enough delay where I don't have to worry about that and what we're gonna do for now to check the signal strength to know when we're gonna to need to put down a repeater we're gonna do that and just keep on walking. Looks like we're dead right here. So repeater. Okay, yep, already had a redstone. <laughs> Should have thought about that. Should have my redstone box over here. I don't think we'll need you know I don't think we'll need more than another stack, but let's grab another one. Somebody's bouncing around on top of me. Go through the little zigzag, which again is only really there so I can stay right underneath the road to make sure I don't mess with anyone who's digging in a build. Oh, not enough to make it around the turn. Now we do. We'll come this way. And then. There we go. And then that'll die out. Perfect. So that's going to be our whole uh, redstone mechanism for that part. I don't have any fireworks in there right now, so it shouldn't really be working. You know what? Let me go grab some fireworks. Let's test this out. Let's test it all the way.
go ahead and break this and I'll meet back up with you when we go up top. Okay, time for the uh, test. I went ahead and put two fireworks in each of that. So we should have enough to do a run through. Let's go ahead and drop our item in. There we go. Hey, it worked. Yeah. All right, and now for the ultimate test. I'm gonna throw my pick in here and see if it comes back. Crap, I didn't mean to throw myself in here. Oh, and I don't have any pearls. What, how do I not have any pearls? I bet you they're all in my emergency chest, pearls. Okay, pick. Eh. Hey! Awesome! Everything is working properly. Alright, Bank. I got your warning to decorate my crap. There. We'll do it now. Eh? Eh? <laughs> About time. Finally. Should probably go ahead and close that back. One more for here. I guess I'm on yellow. Unless you want another color, you can swap, swap them around. Nah, yellow will be fine. I want to be on the golem. Me and Frederick would get. Yellow, it's not gold. <laughs> and. Eh, there we go. Ow. <laughs> All right, Yay. so it, it, are we done here? Am I good? Yeah, it's good now. The middle one is filled up. All right, good. Slacker. Okay, guys, so this is the sixth time I'm going to try to record this ending clip because the aspect ratio will not, it won't render correctly with NVIDIA, and it's starting to absolutely bother me. So, OBS for the win next episode. I hope you guys enjoy that. I'm using OBS when I'm live streaming. And that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, random times. Um, check my Twitter. It's on my YouTube page. And, matter of fact, I'll probably put up a YouTube video saying I'm live or stuff like that. But before I do any of that, I wanted to show you guys this place. This is the Job Hut. Now, this used to be Minty's Coffee Shop. Hence why there's still coffee banners. We're not fully done with it. But the job hut was around last season, and it was a really cool uh, idea made by one of our players. I can't remember who made it. Uh, if you made it, go ahead and comment down below and be like, hey, that was me, because you deserve credit on this one. But yeah, so the job hut, this is how it works. Say you need an area dug out, and you don't want to dig it out. You can come into the job hut, grab a blank book, fill it out like this book right here. Matter of fact, I think this book is digging too. Yeah, see, so you go does needs you would put your player name here and then say what exactly you need and see i say please contact me for exact location just to make sure the player doing the job doesn't get confused and then put your payment down here and then don't sign the book that's the most important part do not sign the book once you're done put your order in here you can see here that there's already an order waiting and then that's it now, say you're a player who wants to kind of make some quick diamonds or even Kami coins or something like that. You can come in here, grab an order out of here, and then you'll just be like, oh, that needs da, 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 da. Go do said order, sign the book once the job is done, and then put it in this chest. This chest signifies you've completed the job and you're ready for payment. Now, signing of the book is very important because that lets the person know who made the job offer, who completed the job, and who they need to pay. So that's why you don't sign the book here, but you do sign it here. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's an easy way on the server to make comic coins or diamonds or stuff like that. Or if you need something done for you that's tedious that you just don't want to do. Easy job. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here with no chest plate because, you know, Minecraft problems. But, yeah. If you guys like this episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. 
keeps you notified when I go ahead and post new videos or when I'm going to be live streaming and stuff like that. But like always, guys, see ya.